Hi, we are at Secure My Bike, which is Singapore's first underground bicycle parking system. Um, it's about a five minute walk from MRT MRT station, which is pretty convenient. And we've got two kiosks over here. One at the other side, about a couple of meters away, not very far, uh, but it's not open yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this out and see if it's easy to use and what we think about it. Let's go. Okay, so we've got a couple of parking spots here for you to park your bike. So it's pretty convenient while you register. Three machines. So let's register and count. Enter your mobile number. Number is not registered in the system. Register now, okay. Total weight must not exceed 35 kg. And you can put other items in there as well. No living things. That's very important. <laughs> okay, so all you need is your full name, your mobile number, your date of birth, and your postal code. That's all you need. And your account is activated. Great. So what we noticed was the registration kiosk in the middle, it's a little smaller so kids can register and park their bikes as well, not just the adults, which is pretty cool and thoughtful. So we're at one of the kiosks now and we've received the PIN number and with this we can start using the Secure My Bike system. Alright, it's a little screen here. Enter your mobile number. Okay. Apparently up to 501 bicycles can be stored and there are 7 stories underground right now. And with them, we have individual cubicles where your bicycles will go. This is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, it's fairly tiny. Just enough for a bicycle and a couple of items at the side. Uh, d just for scale, okay? Just for scale. Oh my gosh, what is it? What is it? Okay, there, it, was, it said overload because I'm over 35 kgs, obviously. Um, and there are motion sensors to make sure that, you know, no living things go in there before you close the door. And um, I was advised to park the bicycle from back to front, just so it's easier for you to retrieve it later. There you go. Oh! There. Okay. And apparently after the door is closed, it takes about four seconds just to scan and see if everything is okay before it descends. There, it just went in. So there's a free trial from 5th to 31st of January and you have to retrieve it within 24 hours. That's the maximum amount of time you can park your bike here. But from Feb 1st to April 30th, they will be charging you. So that's about $22 a month for unlimited usage or 25 cents per hour, which is actually pretty affordable still, I think. And so far, I think it's pretty easy to use. And there is like a little ATM machine here for you to top up your account. Let's try to retrieve our bike and see how straightforward and easy it is. And pin number, which is the same one. Okay, there's a bike, same bike. And there we go. That's quite easy. And we we were told to always press OK when we want to close the door. Done. Okay, so just for your information, if you put in helmets or bags, you're gonna have to retrieve them all because it's not like it's not like back in school you get that one locker to yourself and you will it will be yours for the rest of the year. This is not the same case. You know, you won't be getting the same cubicle the next time. So it's shared. So now that we've given Secure My Bike a try, um, an honest review would be it's actually fairly simple to use. It's very straightforward and user friendly. And it would definitely benefit those who already have a bike and they're afraid of getting the bike stolen because bike theft is a very common thing, right? But I think one main concern would be that since bike rentals are such a common thing in Singapore now, how practical would it be? You know, how many people are going to use it? Let's say if I park here and I want to cycle somewhere else and I want to park and secure my bike again, but it's not available somewhere else. So what am I going to do with my bike, right? But overall, 
yeah, it's it's not that bad, you know, if you have a bike and you've got and you think that you know spending a bit of money just to make sure it doesn't get stolen is worth it, then give it a try. Okay, so that's all from us. Thanks for watching. Bye.